plus 99 reinforced wooden stick, introducing Chrono Life, an immersive virtual reality game where only the most resilient players can thrive. GU enters the game, only to face rejection and mockery from other players due to his lack of experience, subpar equipment, and overall novice status. However, everything changes when GU upgrades his humble wooden stick to the maximum reinforcement level of plus 99. Suddenly, he realizes that he possesses the power to split continents and annihilate armies of thousands with a single swing. Determined to teach his detractors a lesson, GU declares. Although this webcomic lacks a substantial storyline, it compensates with a cast of entertaining and audacious troll characters. If you're seeking a carefree and enjoyable experience without the need for intricate narratives, then this is the perfect read for you. Amazing Jijiri. Even though Jijiri is the most powerful person in the world, he acts like the weakest. He was born to a mother with unrivaled power and a father from a gangster family. Even as a baby, he displayed Herculean strength, demolishing furniture and the house itself, as well as accidentally beating his father. In an effort to grant him a normal life, his parents decided to brainwash him by telling him lies to keep him isolated. Because of his parents, brainwashing the MC is unable to make friends, and he just talks to his little weird-ass doll that they gave him. That doll helps his strength become like a normal human. However, if someone takes it away, he becomes what most people call a monster. This is the story of the MC's personal growth, of how the strongest man in the world will overcome trauma and self-doubt. I recommend reading this because it's bloody hilarious, and it has a pretty good storyline as well. The art can put a lot of people off since it's not the best, but the author does do a good job in keeping the readers reading mostly because of the funny plot lines. Mom, I'm sorry. Mom, I apologize. Please don't pass away. When Henry becomes aware of his mother's imminent death, he makes a pact with a lifespan merchant to sacrifice his own years in order to prolong his mother's life. As a result, his mother is now a 20-year-old college student with a promising future while Henry dedicates his remaining days to ensuring she experiences life to the fullest. However, complications arise when his friend develops feelings for her. This webtoon is incredibly captivating. It is refreshingly original, filled with humor, romance, and an intriguing plot. While it does have its melancholic moments, there are plenty of uproarious scenes that make it a great addition to the comedy genre. Beeb the Weird Beeb. The Weird is a comedic comic series that focuses on the strange and humorous moments in Beeb's life. Through sarcastic skits, the series captures relatable experiences that many people encounter in their daily lives, often causing secondhand embarrassment. If you enjoy random slice of life comedy, I highly recommend giving this series a try. Girls of the Wilds Wilds High School is a unique school for girls that focuses on MMA. This year, they have a new freshman named Jegu who has a fear of women due to his mother abandoning him. In this exciting school drama, Jegu will discover the true nature of girls. If you're looking for a funny manhua with excellent artwork that improves over time, this is the one to read. Beware of the villainess. A refreshing and unique antagonist is transported into the world of a novel with the intention of overthrowing the male leads who manipulate the female protagonist. This pragmatic villainess is joined by a friendly heroine who shares her frustration with these idiots as well as a wolf who is infatuated with her. Although I typically do not read romance series, I was compelled to read this one by a friend. Initially, I expected it to be filled with cliché romance, but to my surprise, the comedy outweighs the romance, making it an enjoyable read. Miss Not-So-Sidekick Hye Jung used to find solace in reading as a way to escape her daily stress. However, her life takes a strange turn when she wakes up inside the world of her favorite novel. Instead of being the main heroine who is pursued by three attractive men, she finds herself transformed into Latte Ektri, a despised minor villain. Despite this unexpected twist, Hye Jung sees it as an opportunity to experience her beloved storyline firsthand, complete with popcorn in hand to witness all the drama unfold. Taking control of the narrative now holds a whole new meaning for her. This recommendation from one of my friends is both hilarious and unique, with an engaging story and distinctive artwork. While I'm not particularly fond of the romance aspect, the comedy is absolutely fantastic. The greatest estate developer, Suho Kim, a student of civil engineering, dozes off while reading a fantasy novel and finds himself transformed into one of the characters in the book. He now inhabits the body of Lloyd Frontera, a wealthy but indolent nobleman whose family is heavily indebted. Upon acquiring a system ability, 
Suho uses his engineering expertise to create innovative solutions that can prevent the disastrous fate that awaits him. The protagonist in this story is not your typical one, and it's quite amusing. Despite the abundance of humor, the plot is still well-crafted and has some emotional moments, although they quickly become comical. I highly recommend it. Love Advice from the Great Duke of Hell If you're a teenage boy named Paul who is seeking love advice but can't rely on your friends or family, where do you turn? In this scenario, the girl you like doesn't even know you exist. Paul decides to summon a demon from hell for guidance, hoping it will provide him with the help he needs. It's fortunate that the text mentions this, as I typically prefer manga that falls under the action or fantasy genres. The initial 60 chapters of the story are filled with top-notch humor, leading me to believe that the remainder of the plot would follow suit. However, things take a dramatic turn, and the story evolves into a highly amusing blend of comedy, fantasy, action, and adventure. In my view, this webtoon is stupidly funny and is one of my favorite comedy series, Nan Hao and Shang Feng. This manhua is a hilarious comedy that revolves around two regular high school boys. It's difficult to fully capture the essence of this story, but it can be described as incredibly funny and random. Each chapter is filled with absurd humor that will keep you entertained. I understand that this is a manhua, but it deserves to be included in this list.